So the message of this evening is on chapter 19, item 8, is the parable of the withered fig tree. I'm going to read it. It's a little bit different from what is there. It's a different translation, but I believe we'll all be able to follow it along. Okay? And then after reading, we'll talk a little bit about the message. When they left Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree some way off, he went to see if he could find something on it. And having, and having come to it, he only followed leaves, because it was not seasoned for figs. Then Jesus said to the fig tree, May no one eat any more fruit from you, which his disciples heard. On the following day, as they passed by the fig tree, they saw that it had become withered down to its roots. And remembering Jesus' words, Peter said to him, Master, look how the fig tree that you cursed has become withered. Jesus answered him, saying, Having faith in God, verily I say to you that whoever says to that mountain, Be uprooted and cast yourself into the sea without any doubt in his heart, but firmly believing that what he has said will happen, we'll see it actually happen. That's on Mark chapter 11, verses 12, 14, 20 to 23. So the first thing that I like to remind is that Jesus always spoke to parable, right? He understood the time that he was. He understood how we were back on our evolution. So he used tools and ways to explain the beautiful matter of love that teaches for us to grow. So I'm saying that because I don't want people to focus on that he killed a tree, right? That's not really the message. The message is much bigger than that. And the gospel, according to spiritism, really help us out to understand this message. You know, it's a beautiful book that really guides us to understand us the message of a Jesus. And in the gospel, according to spiritism, it tells us that the fig tree, the withered fig tree, it's kind of like the people that have all the means, all the opportunity, has all the talents to, to do, to fulfill, the, to accomplish their goal, but they don't, they just don't. So it is like the fig tree, beautiful, full of leaves, but no fruits. How good is that? How good are we if you're not accomplished? If you have all the opportunities, but we just don't do it. Another example could be like those beautiful speakers. When you hear them, religious or philosophical or whatnot, but they have beautiful words that's very nice to hear, but when they finish the sentence and you start analyzing it, it's pretty empty. It didn't say anything. It didn't accomplish anything. So again, it's kind of like the beautiful fig tree, full of leaves, but no fruit. You have all the message, all the beautiful word, but you're not really saying anything. So you're not really helping. So if you bring it back, like the, the people bring it to us, right? They have all the tools and all the opportunities, everything that we could ask for, we have to accomplish our goal, but we just don't. We should ask ourselves, why don't we do? Why don't we accomplish it if you have everything in hand? And most of the time it's because of faith. We don't have the faith to go, to act on it. Faith and knowledge goes along together. We gotta have the knowledge, the means, the tools to achieve it, but you gotta also have the faith. You gotta trust God. You gotta trust Jesus and act on it, that we're gonna accomplish it. Right? All these religions, doctrines, or theory that do not have anything, they are empty if they don't follow through it. And all of these, those people, those religions, those doctrines, it's gonna become like the fig tree. It's gonna dry out, it's gonna wither because it's not fulfilling the message. It's not accomplishing anything. Another point that the gospel according to spiritism brings to us, it is the mediumship, right? The medium. The medium is just like a physical body that the spirit doesn't have. So this God, it's so kind and benevolent that provides spirits to give us the message, to help us understand the message, to guide us through it or every day. So the mediums are just the physical body that the spirits do not have. And this message doesn't matter where you are. You see that throughout the globe. Rich, poor, sad, happy, we're always gonna get those messages. And if the mediumship, if the mediums are not using it for good use, you're kind of like the fig tree, the wither fig tree again. You have the talent of mediumship, but you're not acting, you're not doing good. You know, you're just like a tree full of leaves, but no fruit. And uh, sometimes people usually actually make it worse, right? They start charging for it for something they receive for free, you know, or they start using this for entertainment, you know, and even to desire bad for the people. But that's not, that was not the purpose. So those people is gonna become like the withered tree. It's gonna dry it out. You're gonna lose your talent. You're not using your talent for a good reason. 
So that's going to go away. You're wasting it, the talent that we have. So just to conclude, I hope uh, we continue reading the gospel so we can learn and digest all these beautiful messages and that we become a fig tree full of fruits that we act on, that we use the talent, talents that we have to make it better. Thank you so much.